Think about this for a sec. If you had a class of 30 students and one of those students was getting bad grades, you could reasonably assume that the problem lay with that one student. But what if 20 out of those 30 students were getting bad grades? Surely you'd redirect your blame towards the teacher or the school, right? So why is it that in our community where almost two-thirds of Australian adults are overweight or obese, we still blame the individual for their weight and not the society and environment they live in? Now, I work with researchers and governments to find ways to address growing global obesity. And I want to show you how the health cards are stacked against many of us in such a way that makes health increasingly beyond reach and obesity the path of least resistance. Let's start by talking location, location, location. Research tells us that your risk of being overweight changes depending on where you live. This is in part because of poor urban planning. We're talking whole suburbs that lack adequate footpaths, without places where kids can run and kick a ball, and where parents can't find fresh food without having to drive for miles. Alarmingly, our country's poorest postcodes also have two and a half times more fast food restaurants per person than our richest. On top of all of this, a lot of food advertising clearly comes with an attitude of get them young. Australian TV has the highest number of food ads during kids programming in the world. And more than three quarters of those ads are for foods with low nutritional value. However, the situation isn't hopeless. In fact, if we can ensure our kids develop the right eating habits early on, we could cut obesity rates in just one single generation. Studies show only 5% of healthier weight kids will grow up to become obese, whereas up to 79% of obese kids will become overweight adults. Now, I understand that nobody likes to be told what to drink or eat, not by our parents, not by institutions, and certainly not by people like me. But aren't we already being constantly told what to eat? So next time you hear a bold idea that offers even a chance of making our kids and our communities healthier, instead of writing it off as telling us what we can or can't eat, let's ask ourselves, is this an idea that could help us win the battle for our health? <laughs> <laughs>